Yo, yo, rest fam, what's going on, and welcome back to another episode of the JJ Blade Career Simulation. Now, in the last episode, you guys can see here, we were in the World Series against the Cleveland Indians again, and they got the revenge again, and we lose 4 2 in the series with, I believe, to be one of the best squads that we have ever uh, made. This is the squad that we got going that we have currently with our uh, our squad here. We got JW Day up to an 87 overall. He is the starting center fielder. I, I don't care about anybody else. He is the starting center fielder. Alfaro being our catcher, and then Naquin and Chad Wallach being our first baseman. And uh, I think we have an injury to the first baseman. Yeah. Basically, we got an injury with Jake Bowers where he was out for the rest of the season with a torn ACL. It's kind of sad to see. But yeah, we have uh, our league leaders here. Uh, well, I'm actually pretty late to that. I'm actually really late to that. Uh, we got a lot of gold, gold glove awards with uh, Brian Anderson, Bichette, uh, Naquin, and Senzel. And then the MVP for the playoff is actually Alex Bregman. So, wow. So he, got the, he, gets, he gets the postseason MVP. That's our third postseason MVP in a row. And then who wants the, the World Series? Yeah, Victor Robles wins it. That's actually kind of sad to see. But yeah, um, we tried to do our thing out there, but it did not work out too good. I also forgot to show you guys the pitching staff. Our pitching staff is absolutely amazing. Like this team deserves to win at least three or four World Series. So it's kind of hard to win the World Series. So yeah, we'll advance over to the offseason. I'll take care of all the contract stuff. See, we'll pick up somebody. Maybe if it's a starting rotation guy, we might pick him up uh just to add another another punch right there over to the starting rotation but we're basically right now at the maximum prime that we could ever be with this team we're, we're trying to keep as many marlins players on the team as possible but it's kind of hard because some of them don't really progress well besides brian anderson and six though and uh i've got jj bidet like and hell ramirez did have a point in time where he was actually really good so yeah devin morrell is going to be retiring from us so yeah, let's see what we can do here, man. I, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, our team is still going to be absolutely disgusting, especially with Jake Bowers in at first base. And then we're going to have JJ Blade as our starting outfielder. So an outfield of JJ Blade, Austin Meadows, and Tyler Naquin, to me, is actually pretty pretty amazing. We're going to see we, who we can try to pick up with, by, with Nick Senzel, uh, see if we can pick someone up that we can use for the you know another arm in the bullpen probably. Possibly another arm in the bullpen that we, we could use. Maybe another starting rotation guy. Uh, we also have Trevor Richards, too, who's actually holding his own and doing pretty well. So, I'm actually quite impressed. So, let me go ahead and get all these contracts things sort, sorted out. And we also got to hire some new staff. So, yeah. I'll see you guys when all these contracts are sorted out. I'll see you again. Alright, contracts have been sent out. Free agency is not looking too good, honestly. Um, quite disappointed by this off is definitely not one like last year's or the year before that it's definitely not like that nowhere near it but I mean we do have a catcher we can go for in clay and Caber Ruiz um, but do we go for Caber Ruiz I I, I want to put all my trust in the main man uh then yeah, we had Joey Bart too Wow Joey Bart is available uh, shit okay yeah um yeah we're gonna go for joy bart we're gonna offer joy bart a contract there um i don't think we need another outfielder that's definitely not what we need um everything else has been taken care of santa bogarts i don't think he's gonna get a pretty good uh, offer um yeah not many players that i want jesus Luzardo. how did he do this season 16 to 7 to 3 uh that's pretty good uh but i don't really want to touch anything ryan mountcastle uh wow he's actually uh progressing really well so you guys can see the players that right now are like at a 70 something give them a few uh, a few years and they will do wonders for for your team so yeah uh not really too surprised with this free agency guy maybe we might have to see what we can get for actually we can try to get uh reed foley for um let's see wait who was that for andrew heaney is he even here yeah, he's an 86. Do we do we do we try to get him? Yeah, I think I think we should try. We'll try to get um right uh Riley Fold Reed Foley. See if we can try to get him, and then see if we can move um we'll see if we can move the main man um 
Andrew Heaney and Nick Senzel in a package deal. See if we can try to package them out somewhere else. And then Jorge Alfaro. Let's see. Alfaro still an 85 overall. He's still doing pretty good. He's 33 years old. So he's not, he's gonna start he's gonna start to deteriorate quite a bit. So I think I think his prime has already been passed. Uh maybe we might have to start looking for another catcher. Uh, as much as I don't want to, because I do want to keep um I want to keep on following the team for as much as long as long as possible but yeah if anything happens we might do that but let's go ahead and see if we can pull a trigger with a deal here we're gonna try to see if we can send out uh nick senzel and let's see who was the other guy and and andrew Heaney in the deal let's see what we can possibly get back from this i'll see you guys when we get a good deal if we get a good deal okay i think we might have found ourselves an amazing deal here i'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger on this we're gonna give away we're gonna trade away nixon zell and andrew heaney for jordan hicks who is a 99 overall um we're gonna take on that contract which is actually really good and then he's gonna he's gonna produce he's gonna get himself strikeouts he is going to be the god of this team i truly believe that jordan hicks is gonna be amazing so we're gonna pull the trigger on this we're gonna be now we have Jordan Hicks in our very, very stacked lineup. Uh he is not gonna be a starter. He I guess we'll put him in as a uh Kyle Crick. We'll put him in here, right next to the setup guy for Kyle Crick. So now we actually have to land um Seed Foley. Well Reed Foley, excuse me. Gohara goes to the Blue Jays. Anderson goes there. Jordan Hicks. Yeah, this is the trade that we did. Um, we do sign Joey Bart. Uh, and we signed Seed Foley. That's what I'm talking about. Reed Foley. Why am I saying Seed Foley? I'm getting confused with Sean, bro. We signed Joey Bart. And then we sign um, Reed Foley now. So, we got ourselves some amazing, amazing pitching now. We got Pablo Lope. I mean, our starter rotation is more Marlins than anything. It's Trevor Richard, Paulo Lopez, and Sixto, so it's really good. And then we pick up ourselves Joey Bart, who I don't know if he'll take in the spot of Alfaro. All right, so now we're done with this. We're going to see how the squad does and how they do in the beginning of the season. We should do really well with J.W. Bidet up there. I do think he's going to get a lot more at-bats this season. So let's go ahead and simulate to the halfway point. We'll stop around the middle half of this so we can try to see how J.J.'s doing and how the squad is doing. So... Hopefully everything turns out well. Damn, so Alfaro gets injured. He has a torn cow. He's gonna be out for a couple months. A couple months. And he was actually tearing it up. 344 with four months and 15 RBIs. So that gives Joey Bar an opportunity to play. And that's actually really, really, really good for him. And then we're gonna check him on JJ Bidet, and he is now an 89 overall. I mean, he is reaching almost his max potential. He is basically I think I think he's gonna have an incredible season this year. He's have he's batting a good average higher than what he's ever batted besides uh from 2024 so yeah hopefully he keeps up this 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 little hot streak hopefully he does continue to become an absolute demigod and i'm i'm rooting for him man i'm rooting for him because i really do want him to do good because i want i want the day to at least win a world series with miami before we end the series so that is exactly what i want to happen that is exactly what i think is going to happen so yeah Let's continue on with this. We're going to check the stats a little bit later. I just wanted to see what was going on with, with the roster because, yeah, I saw that some guys got injured and stuff. So, yeah, we'll see how we do, man. 25 and 11. That's a really, really good record right now. Well, damn. Talk about utter domination. 58 and 33. We're six games ahead of the Nationals. And, boy, are we tearing it up, man. Took a quick look at the lineup and see how everybody's doing. Uh, Bichette. Tearing it up right there. Brian Anderson doing Brian Anderson type things. Corey Seager having another amazing season. Uh, Austin Meadows as well having it with a 288. Then we got Jake Bowers hitting 179. Whoa. Then we got JJ Bidet, who is kind of uh he's kind of cold, but I, I I do expect him to get out of that little slump that he's in, and hopefully he does because it's quite necessary for him to do so. And then I guess we can put Bregman in for Jake Bowers as he's not doing, he's, he's doing dog shit. And we'll take a look at the pitching staff as we did not look at the pitching staff last time. And okay, 8-5 and five for Chris Paddock with the 3-4-1. That is not bad at all. 
Then we got Cecil Sanchez 14 and 3 with the 232. I mean, the guy's took an over now. 7 and 5 with the 491 by Reed Foley. Eliza not doing the best. And then Trevor Richard. Again, I mean, Trevor Richard, ha he, he, he's been doing this. He's been doing really well for us. He's actually, the past three years, he, I think he's hit basically, he's a, he's, he's doing really good. 71 to two, 275, that's really, really good. Pajos, Julian gets called up to the big leagues, which I actually don't mind that at all. He does have a train a strained tricep, though, so it's actually quite sad to see. Uh, Yancy Almonte, 357, average, doing really good. And then we're just going to scroll through these guys. And then everything is going pretty good, man. Everything is going really, really, really good. Jalen Beeks making the most out of his opportunities. And then Pedroza, Pedroza is actually injured, as you guys saw that. And, uh, yeah, I have everything. I, I don't know why it's making some moves by itself. It's kind of pissing me off. I uh, really hope it wasn't doing that because uh, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens with JJ Bidet. Hopefully, he gets on fire. Hopefully, he gets things started out. But, yeah. Let's simulate the rest of the 2027 season and see how we do, baby. Let's do it. All right, so we basically have 80 games won already in August. We're doing our thing in August, bro. We're about to re we, we could reach 90 wins in August if we win this game. Our baby cakes and the jumbo shrimp do make their respective. They win their respective league. Damn, we could have won 90 games before September. Damn, that would have been nice. So our double A does advance. Our triple A gets eliminated by the storm chasers. And then our double A gets eliminated as well. So we can win more than 100. Oh my. God. We won 107 games, ladies and gentlemen. We won 107 games. If we do not win the Wolves. Look at that. Cleveland's not even here. Cleveland is not. Oh yeah, they are in the ALDS. God damn it. But still, man. Like, oh my God. We won 107 games this season. That is actually incredible. We'll take a look at the lineup. And look at JJ Bidet's rating, baby. Oh, I cannot wait to look at his stats, bros. I cannot wait to look at it. Uh, Bo Bichette, uh, really good at leadoff. Everything went really well with him, as well as Brian Anderson. We know what these top three guys are going to do. And Meadows leading off at that three hole. I mean, we're hitting. Holy shit, we're hitting. Uh, Alex Bregman, after having a really eh start of the season, actually does really well. And then JJ Bidet. Wow, okay, wait, what? Um, all right, wait, wait. 236 average, 14 home runs, 43 RBIs what 236 average like that is so bad compared to what he could be doing man it's so bad like he, he he's he's starting to piss me off a little bit actually so taylor naquin um did really good for us joe Mer sanchez as well and then we have alfar who's actually starting to deteriorate quite a bit uh jake uh um, jake bowers is uh did not have the best of seasons after being injured quite early so yeah, quite unfortunate. And then we'll take a look at the pitching staff. We got Chris Paddock, who 15 and 10 with a 320. Six though, 24 and 3 by Cecil Sanchez with a 244 ERA. What the hell? Reed Foley, who we signed in the past offseason, went 12 and 6 with a 404. Uh, Eliza Hernandez did not do too well, unfortunately. And then we have Julian Pedroza, who actually. He actually did all right. He did all right. And then we're just going to scroll through the rest of the bullpen and just kind of see how everybody did. Uh, everybody had some really, really, really good seasons. So now, oh, we'll take a look at the, the uh, wow, okay. Well, Corey Seager led the league in goddamn everything, basically. He led the league in everything. Like, this guy is fucking crazy. And then we got six of Sanchez with lead and winning percentage and then also wins. So, yeah, Corey Seager is possibly one of the best players in the MLB right now. Um considering that he basically led the league by almost 20 more points and second place was awesome i mean we, we we were all over the batting average boards we were all over like we had him on there so yeah now we are pacing off the arizona diamondbacks in the postseason and then we go ahead and, and a gentleman sweep right there we're gonna go ahead and simulate this real quick we'll sweep we sweep the freaking okay wow we sweep uh in the nlcs the the san diego and then now we're now in the World Series. All right, we're gonna. All right, we're gonna play this game. We're now in the World Series. We are going to play this game. We're down. To, okay, wow. We're down in this game. Oh my God. Okay, wow. That's actually kind of heartbreaking. We need Chris Paddock on this one. We need Chris Paddock, and I'm gonna call on Chris Paddock to be this guy for us. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna be the guy for us. And then we need uh, Corey Seager to be up 
more higher in this. JJ Bede is actually doing really good in the postseason. So we're going to leave him in there. And then everybody else is doing really good. So, uh, wow. Okay, wow. This is kind of uh, this is kind of gut-wrenching a little bit. It's kind of gut-wrenching. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this started, folks. Let's play ball. Chris Paddock up and the bump. And uh, he gets out of that with a quick uh, inning by there. We got players on to come on. Let's go. A double by Corey Seager, the best player in the MLB right now. Tyler O'Neill is going to get himself a double. Uh, we need to do something here, man. We got to win this game no matter what, man. We got to win this game. Chris, I need you here. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. God damn it, Chris. He gives up two runs. Fielder's choice right there. His energy is going down really fast. Uh, Jake Bowers with the hit. But is going to fly. Out. And a two home run by Joey Bart. Let's go is what I'm talking about, baby. Joey Bart, we're good. he's going to get on. And we're going to actually make a pitching change. A fly right there. Pop up. And then a strike. Okay, he gets out of that. We're going to possibly switch on the next uh, walk right there. Jake Bowers is going to get him. So they're going to make a pitching change. A run scored. That's what I'm talking about. A walk right there. A strikeout. And Joey Bart with the strikeout. All right, we're going to do a pitching change here. Um... We're going to bring in Harlan uh, to come in and take care of this. We're up 5-2, to two, so it's not too bad. Um, yeah, we're up 5-2. to two. I do think that we can get this done. We can definitely get this win. Uh, Corey Seager is going to get himself uh, a walk right there. Sam Travis with a single. And then that's pretty much it, man. Blade with a double. A walk by Joey Barr. A sack bump by Harlan. Pitching change. Bichette is a three-run home run by Dante, by Bo Bichette. I almost said Dante Bichette. A walk by Brian Anderson. And we just broke this game wide open, ladies and gentlemen. And then the Marlins defeated the Blue Jays 8-2. to two. That is what I'm talking about. And we are in game seven of the World Series. We're going to play. We're going to, uh, yeah, yeah. We're going to play the game. We're going to do a quick manage. And we're going to see how we do. Man, this, this this season might have to be it, man. This could be the season where we win the World Series. This could be it. And who else would I want to have out there more? I want to put Sixto out there, man. I really, really, really want to put Sixto out there. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to put Sixto Sanchez out there. The Marlins' future is going to be out there for us to produce because we need him really badly right now. We do need him badly. Bregman should not be in the bench at all. Um, I believe he can play shortstop and left. Uh, Naquin's not doing too well, so we're going to bench Naquin. The day is going to be our cleanup guy. Actually, he's going to be our second hole guy. I'm going to do this. So we made some lineup changes. Um, yeah, Bichette has been on fire in the postseason, so hopefully he becomes the MVP. And let's play ball, ladies and gentlemen. A walk, a double play there, gets out of the inning. Single by Bo Bichette, a single by Blade Day. And field of shirts, come on. No. Back to back hits. Solo home run by Luis Guriel. Oh no. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. We gotta come. We, bro, we gotta win this. We are now in game seven. Let's go! JJ Blade with the solo home run. A single by Meadows. A pop up. A walk. Joey Bar's gonna fly out. No. Vladdy is gonna get himself on base there. Walk. A fly out. Damn it, man. We needed that. We needed that. Come on. Oh my god, this is kind of hard wrenching. Austin Meadows with a single. Bregman with a single. A fly out. Joey Bar is going to fly out. Come on, Joey. I need you, Joey. Come on, this game is tied 1 1. Bichette's going to fly out. Damn it, man. All right, we're going to make a pitching change as uh, his energy is actually really low. We're going to bring in Alv Alvarado. Um, yeah, we're going to bring in Alvarado. A single right there. Double play. And a ground out. We get out of the end. Come on. A single by Corey Seager. Single by Bregman. A walk. Bar's gonna strike out again, bro. Come on, Bar. A walk, a sack bunt. Bichette's gonna walk. And then a double play by Blade, bro. No, come on. Ian Hap, a walk. Ground out, let's go. Come on. Walk it off. Walk it off, baby. Come on. Oh my god. We're in a walk-off situation right now. We're gonna make we're gonna make a, a pitching change. We're gonna bring in Yensi Almonte. Fly, come on. Let's go. Come on, let's go, come on. We can win it right here. Single. Brian Anderson. Let's go! We won the whole series! Let's go! Oh my goodness! Jake Bowers comes through with the most clutches home run we have ever hit. Ever. And we have won the World Series with JJ Blade. We have won the World Series with the Miami Marlins. With the squad that we should have won it for quite a bit. We should have won it maybe three years we know we should have had four titles by now 
But we finally won the World Series with JJ Bidet and the squad. And oh my god, that was a game right there. That was an absolute game. Bo Bichette with one of the most one of the best bowl seasons I've ever seen from somebody. And then JJ Bidet. 412 in the postseason with four home runs and 10 RBIs. I would not be surprised if they give him the player of the month. I mean the player of the uh the playoff MVP, I should say. So I forgot to look at to I forgot to look at our awards before we actually got this started. Um Corey Seager with the goal with Silver Slugger. The National League MVP actually goes to Sixto Sanchez. He's so Sixto Sanchez wins MVP. The Hank Aaron Award goes to uh, Corey Seager. Gold Glove to Bowers, Anderson, Bichette, and Victor Reyes. Cy Young goes to Sixto. Playoff MVP is going to go to Bo Bichette. And then World Series MVP goes to J.J. Bleday. I knew Bleday was going to win an award. And J.J. Bleday wins the World Series MVP. Bro, we could not have ended the series off on a better note. With J.J. Bleday in the playoff, the World Series MVP. I mean, four home runs, six RBIs, 429 average. I mean, holy crap. This has been an incredible episode, folks. And that is going to be it for the JJ Blade series right there. I mean, it was a bittersweet episode. It was actually really amazing. I'm actually happy that we won the World Series because I, I did not know what we were going to do if we didn't win one this year. Um, but JJ Blade wins the world series well the Marlins won the world series with jj bleday at a 91 overall seems like what he's gonna be maxed out at i don't think that's what he's gonna be maxed out at maybe if i play another season he'll actually become like a 95 or something like that or somewhere high maybe maybe like a joey bart but yeah folks we won the world series with this squad right here we went with brian anderson bleday on the squad um alfaro in the bench unfortunately did not get many things done but man six o sanchez has won the MVP and Cy Young and now a World Series. I mean, if that doesn't say anything about this young man's career, it, it, I don't know what will. But we also win one with Eliza Hernandez, Sixto, uh, Trevor Richards in the squad. So, and Harden Garcia. So, there, there are a few Martins players in the squad. But, folks, that is going to be it for this series and done for this episode. If you guys enjoy, please make sure to leave a like down below. If you guys want to see some more... Uh, career simulation with MLB draft pick from this season. Let me know down in the comments down below. I can get one done with Adley Rushman uh, and Andrew Vaughn, uh, Bobby Witt Jr. If you guys want me to do a picture, I could do a picture as well. So, yeah, let me know down in the comments down below and I will get that done for you guys. And make sure to drop a sub, folks. We are closing in on 2,000 subscribers. We are right there to 2,000 subscribers. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy, man. It's been your boy Rezzy. I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace.